And Bruce, you, you must see this all the time, you know, obviously in, in day to day contact with, with students who are playing rugby uh, and your wider sort of rugby sort of scene. How do you think it's working with youngsters and, and then progressing through into adulthood that we're keeping them safe? I think there's there's a lot done for under 18s and and that's to do with the physical aspects the the issue i have is that a lot of coaches want to coach to make their game look like the professional game um and schoolboy rugby and under 18 rugby could and should be something different from that um you know the, there's lots to talk about there about how we develop players and players coming through the academies but in the last two years, there's been so many young players that have emerged through various ways, whether that be in, in the Premiership or uh, Pro 14 or some of the players that are coming through in Super Rugby in the Southern Hemisphere. And they look like they have no fear. They have a high skill level. They're unbelievably physically fit. And those are the people that are exciting to watch. Those are the people that we can use to sell the game. The downside to that is we're very quickly becoming a game that is not for all shapes and sizes. When it comes down to a good big one or a good little one, the good big one's always going to win. And and that can be difficult because although we make a big deal of that as a game of rugby, if you watch the professional game, actually, there's not too many little people um, or there's not too many tall, skinny people or there's not too many. So that's becoming a, a more difficult sell. The great thing about schoolboy rugby um, is that it probably looks like the game we all want it to look like. There is a role for everyone.